Bolt is a bit slow to begin. He's got some work to do. Gatlin's in front. Bolt stretching out now. He's coming after him. He's a mortal now. Hello and welcome back to Mondo Musings. I'm your presenter, Nicardo McLean. Now Jamaica is home to one of the planet's great migratory species. Whether by windrush or wings, they inevitably find a way to bridge the gap between the place of their birth and the often distant lands where the prospects of better lives and brighter futures reside. Planting new seeds, laying down fresh roots, and bearing and fostering shoots which, by dint of their hard work and dedication, customarily produce beautiful flowers and a staggering abundance of rich, rich fruits. In tribute to this tradition and the intrepid spirit that inspired it, Mondo Musings Top 10 of the Weekend presents 10 Famous Athletes Whose Jamaican Roots May Surprise You. At number 10 is Derek Atkins. Kingston-born Atkins was a virtual unknown before powering his way into World Championship 100-meter medal contention in early 2007. A bit was subsequently made of him edging then-world record holder Safa Powell, who just happened to be his cousin for global silver in Osaka. However, the powerful Bahamian probably didn't make enough noise in the aftermath of that success for his origin story to really resonate. But, though he repeatedly failed in his quest to make another global final, he'll always be remembered for that one shining moment in the land of the rising sun. At number 9, Natasha Hastings. Fashion forward and underratedly good as an individual 400 meter runner, Hastings was fast enough and unfortunate enough to finish in the dreaded fourth position over one lap at both the 2013 Moscow World Championships and 2016 Rio Olympics. Born to a Jamaican father and Trinbagonian mother, the Brooklyn, New York native did manage to strike the gold medal mother load in the 4x400 meter relay at a number of global championships, including Rio 2016. On that occasion, as had been the case on so many others, Jamaica was the team relegated to second behind a red, white, and blue clad quartet. At number 8 is Dina Asher Smith. The sands of time are littered with the stillborn dreams of many a junior champion who failed to achieve similar success at the next level. Asher Smith, the 2014 World Junior 100m gold medalist, eventually put paid to any such fears by blowing the field away to crown herself senior world 200m champ in 2019. With the silver in the 100 meters behind the peerless Shelly Ann Fraser Price as well, the then 23-year-old from London left very little doubt that she's right in the running to assume the sprint queen mantle. What uncertainty does surround, though, is the source of her athletics prowess. As she indicated in a December 29, 2014 interview with The Guardian, her evasive Jamaican father, former half-miler mother, grandmother, and even an uncle have all lodged competing claims. At number 7, Alonzo Edward. Being faster than the legendary Usain Bolt over 200 meters at any age is a distinction that only a precious few can boast. South American record holder in the half lap Edward, who was born to a Jamaican mother and Panamanian father, is one such unicorn. On the night of August 20th, 2009, while he was still well over three months adrift of his 20th birthday, the formerly unheralded teenager raced to a barely believable time of 19.81 seconds to secure a world championship silver inside the Olympia Stadion in Berlin, Germany. Incidentally, or maybe not, this stunning age 19 world best was produced in the withering wake of the man dubbed Lightning as he streaked to the current world record 19.19 seconds in the event. At number 6 is Kelly Holmes. Absenteeism on the part of her Jamaican father couldn't stop British middle distance runner Holmes from leaving an indelible mark in the annals of world athletics. Neither could her well-documented battles with depression. Ditto for stout challenges from some of history's greatest exponents of the art of 800 and 1500 meter running. The undisputed zenith of her career on the track came in 2004. 
when she defeated the likes of Mozambique's Maria Mutola, Slovenia's Yolanda Ceplak, and Russia's Tatyana Tomashova to seal a memorable middle distance double in the birthplace of the modern Olympics. At number 5, Jessica Ennis Hill. As she detailed in an October 23, 2011 interview with The Independent, a love of food inspired by her Jamaican dad almost led Ennis Hill down the path to a career in the kitchen. Fortunately, though, fate intervened, and the culinary world's loss eventually became one of track and field's greatest gains. Back-to-back -back world heptathlon titles were only the prelude, as silly as it sounds, to the most significant achievement of her career winning a maiden Olympic gold in front of tens of thousands of adoring fans at London 2012. A third win at Worlds followed in 2015, before the amiable lass from Sheffield brought the curtains down on her storied athletics career with a second-place finish in her specialty at the 2016 Rio Olympics. At number 4 is Fiona May. It's entirely possible that May, born in the English town of Slough, inherited the jumping gene that ultimately led to international sporting acclaim from her Jamaican emigrant parents. After winning World Junior Long Jump Gold under the Union Jack in 1988, she went on to achieve significant senior success flying the Tricolore, following her marriage to former Italian athlete Gianni Iappicino. Two senior world titles, a silver and bronze, were complemented by two Olympic second-place finishes, as well as an additional gold at the World Indoor Championships between the mid-1990s and mid-2000s. The much-prized jumping gene appears to have been passed down, as her daughter Larissa, who's been faithfully mirroring her mother's flight path, recently broke the decades-old World Under-20 indoor long jump record. At number 3, Colin Jackson. Lightning quick out of the blocks and armed with a devilish dip, the charismatic Welshman was one of the most famous faces in British athletics from the late 1980s through the early 2000s, winning two world 110-meter hurdles titles as well as an Olympic silver and establishing a new world record of 12.91 seconds in 1993. He also excelled over the barriers indoors, laying down an imposing mark of 7.30 seconds in 1994, which was only recently bettered by American phenom Grant Holloway. As for Jackson's Jamaican roots, the popular athletics pundit explored them during season 3 of the BBC series, Who Do You Think You Are?, unearthing a unique ancestral connection to the Arawak and Tainos, the Caribbean country's first known inhabitants. At number 2 is Aska Cambridge. Jamaica-born Cambridge was the man assigned the not insignificant task of holding the medal position set up by his teammates in the Olympic 4x100 meter final in Rio. Arrayed against him were some of the sport's most furious finishers, including double senior sprint world record holder Usain Bolt, junior 100-meter record holder Trayvon Bromel of America, and Canada's Andre de Grasse, who was then at the height of his powers as a chase-down artist. Whether it was a Jamaican lick but talawa mentality or the samurai spirit inherited from his mother, the then 23-year-old sprinter summoned the wherewithal to hold off all but Bolt, securing a famous silver for the Asian nation. His sober salute to his Jamaican heritage, delivered via a black, green, and gold flag emblazoned on a single shoe, was indisputably Japanese, though. And at number one, Olusoji Fasuba. Fasuba was barely 20 years old when, as a member of the Nigerian 4x100 meter relay team, he won bronze at the Olympics in 2004. Born to a mother who was a cousin of 1976 Olympic 200 meter champ Donald Quarry, his bloodline seemed to suggest that global sprinting stardom may just be his birthright. The script appeared set when an outstanding African record run of 9.85 seconds in 2006 preceded the capture of a world indoor 60-meter crown two years later. Sadly, though, circumstances eventually led the man known as Flashback in his homeland to trade life in the fast lane, 
for the financial security of a career in the British Navy. And with that, we've come to the end of this installment of Top 10 of the Weekend. There are links to the articles referenced in this piece in the description below, just in case you'd like to read on. I'd also appreciate your feedback, so please drop me a line in the comments section. As always, thanks for watching. I do hope that you enjoyed it. Until next time, Godspeed. Gatlin got a good enough start. Bob is a bit slow to begin. He's got some work to do. Gatlin's in front. Bob's stretching out now. He's coming after him. He's a mortal now.